though, we're going to be seeing some Pac-Man. Who do we got on the screen? We got T here? and DNA. T, let's get it. Yeah. DNA. Okay, PC. Um, Skies was in the same crew, sponsor. Uh, I'm not sure what PC stands for. Yeah, I'm I not sure where they're from. Them. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not sure where he's from. Uh, but we're seeing a Falco. I love the bird, bro. Oh, man. Gotta okay. love the bird. As long as I'm not playing against them, I love the bird. It's like one, like he presses the button, then you get put in, put in a cutscene, right? Um, yeah, dude, we're, we're we're watching a movie today. Press press A to start the cutscene. This is the matinee right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, right now uh, T is mixing. He's definitely mixing. Pac-Man uh, also no stranger to the combo game. Pac-Man's damage output is pretty insane, like that shield poke was. That was kind of wild. I've never seen a hide in shield poke actually. Okay, but this this PC crew is, is doesn't seem too bad. They're oh, definitely yeah, no. holding their own against these good players. Yeah, the yeah, no players uh, seem legit, nice. but right now... Great weight on T. That back air is legit, right? I love using the hydrant to uh, wait. Use it to stall a little bit and able to cover that. And the back air right at the ledge there, it's scary. Has Pac-Man stage, but there's really not much you can do when it comes to edge guarding him. That reflector lasted a long time. Oh, you know, um, frame reflector, it's out for, like, I think, like, five uh, frames or something. Like uh, yeah, we see... DNA opts for the two frame there. It, I think it's really hard to two frame Pac Man. He has so many mix ups to time himself to the ledge. Yeah, I've, I've very rarely seen a two uh, Pac Man get two frame like that, unless it was like a cloud or something. Yeah, it's, it's, I find this to be pretty difficult. But we just see T is kind of running away with this. Um, as your local New Yorkers, we might know more about Pac Man than literally any <laughs> other commentators <laughs> in the world. Just, Let me just tell a you. Bit. What was that call? You see that landing up air? Insane. Oh, yeah. He's going to lose it there. But this stock deficit against Pac-Man is might be the biggest mountain to climb. Ever. Yeah, it hurts. It, is it hurts. very difficult to make it back. But if there is a character that can put you in some type of scenario where you can kind of just take a stock with um, low repercussion, yeah. it is Falco. It is. Falco doesn't care what you do. He doesn't care how good of a player you are. <laughs> he is hitting you. <laughs> There's hitting nothing you. you can do. He hits the guy going 0-2 the same as he hits I'm hey Leo, right? Pretty much. There is no care. Once you get hit, everybody's the same, right? <laughs> That's how it goes. Definitely. T just running up and shielding there. He is so in your face with Pac-Man. Yeah, this and, and T's like really big on like those um, step back forward smashes, right? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't seen too much team gameplay because he's only here once in a while. I guess I don't really uh, analyze it that deeply. Okay, you know what? He does F smash though, quite clearly. Yeah. He's mashing right now. <gasps> oh, I was okay. Scared. That reflector almost killed T. I love the reflector usage, you know? Uh, and I don't know how familiar he is with the matchup, or if he's just kind of like mashing it because he has projectiles. But it's great usage, and I think you can see a lot of good stuff in this next game. Let's be able to make this crazy comeback yeah. here. And you know what? And, and you know what? It's, he's learning, right? Because at the first, at first, he wasn't reflecting the hydrant like that. And then after the first dock, he's just like, I. Right, well. Nice F tilts. Pac-Man's F tilt. Uh, quite the infuriating move. It's just the little, little jab, you know, the little, little poke. Yes. It's just so reminds me of Fox's F tilt a little bit. Yeah, like Fox and Mario. Look how big that shoe is, dude. He's got the Tim. He's got the rain boots on, dude. He's got the rain boots on the oven mitts, he's man. He's stomping in those puddles, dude. He's stomping and cooking at the same time, bro. Without a you doubt. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're in Tim's in the kitchen. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no, those are the goulashes, bro. <laughs> no shoes in my house. What are you doing? Yo, she got the Tim's. My boy Hacker's got the goulashes. <laughs> Plus. We're still seeing the pack. Uh, I love when T, when his defenses break down, when he doesn't have a fruit on deck, hmm. and the hydrant isn't in the way anymore, he turns up so hard, he starts abusing Pac-Man's close quarter ability and his crazy frame data. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually kind of wild how mm -hmm. another character that has a lot of projectiles that has a pretty good boxing game. Yeah, like it's not... Like every time he throws out one of those moves, Ooh. he pretty much has to retreat because they're not like super safe on block. Mm. But he's able to throw them out and retreat really well. And I love T's usage of these nares and fares retreating. Uh oh, pack red. Yeah. I wonder if uh, that was a frame trap there with using the short hop instead of the full hop. Maybe. And um, right now it seems like you know um, DNA is focusing a little bit too much on the hydrant, which is what people, certain people fall into. It's the mistake. Hitting the hydrant isn't hitting Pac-Man, you know. Where hitting the fruits isn't hitting Pac-Man. You know, well, you can reflect hitting you, want. you, you're hitting his yeah. items. Like. For every fruit you reflect, you're getting smacked by those those goulashes, bro. Yeah. Just like that. Ooh, good angle. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's a great angle coming out from Oh, oh, did, did, that was, that, was that lock? nasty. Yeah, laser definitely locks. Ooh, that would have been wild. Okay, we got Pac-Man off stage here, but we've definitely seen very little gains by DNA when he had T off stage this set. Almost nothing. That's going Exactly what you said. Every fruit you reflect? Yeah. And the bell didn't even come back down. Like, literally, the bell kind of just disappeared. Okay, nice and techable there. You see the red flash. You know he's not making it. T 
he using? He seems to know what he's doing right here. I feel. Yeah, and not too big of a deficit. Um, it it kind of is. It's not easy to take this stock from Pac-Man. How like how many up tilts have we seen DNA hit? Like, yeah, not he, too many. He's not finding these huge gains you expect out of Falco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's been kind of getting like these two, three hit confirms, not like these big, long, drawn out sequences that you can see from Falco yeah, at yeah. times. Almost no usage of the drag downs, which is interesting. Yeah. Because Falco's there, like you watch his juice play and stuff, he's yeah. out here. But once again, uh, puts himself in a, in a decent situation. Yeah. He's down, but he's definitely not out of it. And once you even up the stocks, it, it you get a lot more hope in you. You feel way better about the matchup. 100, yeah, 100%. And right now, and I'm kind of liking what he's doing with these lasers, right? Um, he's not being up close and hitting the hydrant like he was before. He's trying to he's trying to give himself some space to think a little bit. Yeah, he's just laser. Honestly, he's laser camping him. Yeah, I mean, he's waiting for T. He's telling T to do something, and even though he is down right now, you got like over five minutes on the clock. You don't really need to rush your approach right here. And that's smart to do against Pac-Man. Yeah, and especially if you don't know what to do, because I'm not sure like what his Pac-Man experience is, but. Uh Chances are, it's not, it's none, and if it is, it's not T, you know? Yeah. Which is always what it comes down to. Yeah, pretty much. Reflector right there. He's going to get great pressure there. The hydrant, the water pushing him in. That was pretty funny. Yeah, and right now, and I think, at the, you know, at the ledge has, has been a big thing for both players because DNA hasn't been getting much off of these ledge traps, and T's kind of been going wild at the ledge a little bit. Yeah, uh, obviously, I think uh, a Spacey's disadvantage obviously way harder to uh, to work with than Pac-Man's. He's going to get hit way more. But finally get a back there right yeah. in the ledge. And okay. this, Last he's keeping again. this pace, but he's down. Like, it feels like the same amount all the time. Yeah, you know? About like 70%, 80%. There needs to be a significant momentum shift here to see DNA do something. Ooh, and right, okay, and right now he's at the ledge. See how he recovers, recovers high. Barely living that back air, but I'm not sure if he has his jump, but just sneaks on Ooh. with the side P. But the boots putting in work takes that 2-0. Yeah. Congrats to C. 